What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, if you can ring the little bell and buy my full tub, I super duper appreciate you saying, saying, saying. I got two, uh, one spirit message is all meditating on your. Um, this is a bonus for a reading for the sign of Virgo. I felt guided to do Virgo um, bonus reading, so I'm going to do so. And then I got a spirit message in, so that was confirmation to do it. So the spirit message I received for the bonus reading for sign of Virgo, Virgo is going out of your comfort zone. That's what I heard. Going out of your comfort zone. So you take it how it resonates in your own life, Virgo. Going out of your comfort zone. So it could be you going out of your comfort zone or someone you're connected to going out of their comfort zone. It could be a new career, a new job, reaching out to somebody that um, you never thought you would, sharing information on person, people, place, family, situation, or organization you never thought you would. Um, but going out of your comfort zone in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. You take it out, resonates in your own life first. Like I said, bonus reading. This could resonate if you have Virgo in any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Thanks, everybody, for all the likes, subscribes, and shares. You guys are the bomb freaking diggity.com. You really are. I appreciate all the love and support. I do, I do, I do, who? Just saying. All right, let's get this party started. Fear messages you have, son of Virgo. Spirit messages you have, son of Virgo. A Virgo is about to learn of a huge betrayal soon. From a Pisces, a Libra, and a Sagittarius towards this Virgo. It's going to infuriate them in many ways. Cause them to do something they never thought they would do. Okay, so you take it out. Resonates in your own life, Virgo. Um, I heard uh, you, Virgo, you're about to learn of a betrayal. Sounds like a pretty big betrayal. Um, by a... Pisces, a Virgo, I'm uh, not another no, Virgo, I'm sorry, Pisces, a Libra, and a Sag, uh, towards you in some type of way. Um, it could be a little betrayal or a big betrayal, kind of feels a little big to me, but you plug in your life outfits. But I heard it's going to basically cause you to do something you never thought you would do. So you take it out, resonates. That could be the coming out of your comfort zone energy too, causing you to do something you never do. Uh, thought you would do would be you coming out of your comfort zone. Uh, it could be communication. It could be action. It could be both. You take it how it resonates. Okay. Nine of Wands upright, Ten of Cups reverse. Standing up in the face of adversity, unhappy family life, basically. A particular Virgo is about to really deliver some very important information on a very, very, very unhappy family situation. For some, theirs. For some, not theirs. It's going to be very useful. And for some Virgos, this is very hidden information, very hidden information. 
secret to the right people. Okay, so you take it out resonates, Virgo. Holy man. So uh, there will be something done about this, the secret one. Okay, I heard there will be something done about this, the secret one. The secret one. So you plug it in how, how it fits. There's three different situations in here. You can plug it in how it fits. But I heard a um, Virgo is about to deliver some. Uh, you're about to stand up for yourself, for some of you guys. Because for some, it's your own family situation. You're very unhappy. Um, there's strife. There's chaos. There's conflict. You're about to maybe stand up to some, um, maybe another adult member in your family unit. Uh, maybe it's your spouse. Maybe it's a family member. Uh, maybe it's your children. Um, but somebody in your family unit, it sounds like, because your family unit's um, unhappy. And for some, it's for somebody else's family unit. So um it's i heard information on somebody else's so giving information it could be an official report it could just be communication text or messenger or whatever but some kind of communication on somebody else's unhappy family unit and for some of you guys it's a super secret situation and i heard something will be done about this that apparently you need to know about this so the third situation is a super secret situation uh, of a unhappy family situation um but you're going to stand up not your situation. Okay, I heard not your, excuse me, not your situation. Some kind of super secret situation that's not your situation. So maybe it was super secret and you wasn't supposed to know about it. Or maybe you're keeping this super secret and only some people know about this. Or maybe you thought it was super secret information. On a, I heard not your family situation. So it's another family situation. But I heard you're going to deliver important information basically to someone that can help. Um, and I heard something will be done about it. So super secret. I'm thinking it might be to the feds. I'm thinking the feds or government, governmental entity energy, or maybe a secret court case, but something where it's super secret. Uh, I heard something will be done about it, but it sounds like you're about to stand up for this other family situation. That's not yours for the third one and do something about it. And that's standing tall in the face of adversity. And that's the unhappy family situation. For some, it's yours. For some, it's another person's. For some, it's a super secret one. So I'm thinking maybe like a um, secret, super secret court case or um, super secret spy information or maybe super secret. Maybe you're an investigator. Maybe you're an investigator for some of you guys. I just thought about that. Maybe you are an investigator um, in the law enforcement community or just private PI um, energy. Or maybe you are the feds for some of you guys. You take it how it resonates. Um, you take it how it resonates. Spirit messages you have for Santa Virgo. messages you have Sandra. and maybe delivering this super secret information because uh, i heard a pisces a sag and a libra is about to betray a virgo in a huge way maybe the huge betrayal energy by the pisces sag and libra um is gonna um antagonize and promote you not antagonize but promote you to um reveal this information possibly Spirit messages you have for Santa um, Virgo. There's about to be a very shocking death soon in a Virgo's energy field. Very shocking. Okay, so you take it out, it resonates. Her, there's about to be a very shocking death in a Virgo's energy field. Energy field soon. Very shocking. So you take it out, it resonates, Virgo. Very shocking death. Five of Cups, upright, strength, upright. Um, I heard in your energy field, I just want to clarify that. So in your energy field, so I don't think it's, obviously, it's not you. It's not you. It's somebody you're connected to. 
I heard inner energy field, but it's a shocking death. So you didn't expect this person was going to pass away or others didn't expect this person was going to pass away. Um, but it sounds like they're, they're about to, you know, it could be like, um, uh, an, a motor vehicle, unexpected motor vehicle accident. It could be, um, some kind of, um, you know, something shocking. Maybe they, um, I don't know, something shocking, whatever it is. I think it's several things in my head, but, um, you probably getting your life out this, but some kind of shocking, shocking death energy. Five of Cups upright, strength upright. A Virgo has many, many, many regrets of the past, but they are about to have super strength, super strength, and really redeem themselves. Okay. So you take it out, resonate. I heard a Virgo has um, serious, serious, serious regrets of the re regrets of the past, but I heard they're about to have super strength, super, super strength, and really redeem themselves. About to turn it around, and th this Virgo's life and someone else's life. Okay. I heard about to turn it around in your life, Virgo. So you're about to have super strength and really turn it around in your life. You have serious regrets, maybe of the choices you have made or the people you have chose to hang around or the people you have allowed in your life in some type of way. But you're about to have super, super, super strength and really change your life. And I heard the life of another person. Sounds like in a very positive way. So um, that's for great energy of the past, your life or somebody else's life or both. And then the super strength, um, this is Leo energy. For some, you could be dealing with a Leo or not. If you are, they could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or thumb, and Hamer, and Jupiter. You take it out, resonates. But if um, if it resonates or not, you're having super, super strength. Some in your life, some in another person's life, some in both. You take it out, resonate. But changing, changing your life or someone else's life or both in a positive way, though, in a positive way. So that's that's beautiful. Some AA classes. Okay, I heard some AA classes. So um, some of you guys are in AA classes. Alcoholic anonymous, anonymous classes is what it sounds like. So I think some of you guys are either you're in AA classes, you or somebody you're connected to is. If you're in AA classes, then that means you were an alcoholic at one point. Um, but it could be somebody you're connected to. You take it out, resonate. But AA classes is significant, at least um, for you or somebody you're connected to. A Virgo is about to connect with a very, very, very important right person. It's going to be life-changing, life-changing. Okay, I heard a Virgo is about to connect with a very important right person, and it's about to be life-changing, life-changing. Some for you, some for another person, some both. Okay, heard some is going to be um, life, life-changing in a very positive way, it sounds like. Heard for some of you guys, for you, for some, for another person, some both. <clears throat> so, strength to move on, move on with your life, move on and heal. Um, and yes, there's regrets of the past, but you can't change the past. You can only change the future. Okay. A Sagittarius is about to come back, begging, begging, begging back into a Virgo's life. This Virgo is not going to do it this time. 
standing up in a huge way. Okay, so you take it out resonates. Wow. I heard, a, um, so you're bringing a Sag energy strong here, Virgo. Spirit messages you have reflected. Heard a Sag is about to start come, trying to bake back into a Virgo's life. But I heard um, you're not going to do it this time if this resonates for you. So you're not going to do it this time. So it sounds like in the past you did. Maybe for some, several several times. Maybe several one time. But I heard um, you're not going to do it this time. And it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. Okay, I heard it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. So you take it out resonate. So you're not accepting this Sag back into your life. Um, and they're, I heard they're going to beg. So they're going to beg. They're going to put forward on freaking thick, whoever this Sag is, Sag is in your life. They could have Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Earth, and Midhaven, or Jupiter. But I heard you're not going to do it this time, and it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. So you take it out resonates. Number 43, the unexpected. This Virgo was about to step it up in huge, huge, huge ways. Huge. And caused many shocking series of chain of events. Positive for ones that deserve it and themselves. Okay, so you, step, you take it out resonates. Wow, Virgo. You're coming in very positively. I just want to say, your energy is very positive in here. It really, really, really is. I mean, I've had some pretty... Um, I've had some rough readings for Virgos in the past, um, but this is not, this is not rough. This is, this is coming out of like, this is like doing your shadow work and really coming out of um, some deep, dark times, basically, whoever this is for, if this does resonate with you. It's like you're doing your shadow work, you're doing your healing, and you either, I think for who this is for, you're in the process. I think you've had an awakening or you just had an awakening and you're doing healing now, shadow work and healing work now, um, which is beautiful. Um, and of course, you'll still have some work to go, um, but at least you're doing something about it. So um, for some, you might have already done all the healing work. You plug in your hot fits, but I think a lot of you guys are in the process. It's unexpected. So I heard basically um, a, a Virgo is about to step it up in a huge way. Um and for themselves and another, and it's about to cause many, many shocking series of chain events for this Virgo and the other person in very positive ways. So we have the unexpected card. So um, that's the shocking series of chain events I heard that you're going to create. So you're going to create the shocking series of chain events, Virgo. You're going to do it. So you're going to create the unexpected in a very positive way, i.e. the very shocking series of chain events. And like I said, number 43 might be very significant. Number 43. Wow, this is beautiful. I mean, for real, for real, it is. Let me see if I hear anything else. Woke. And I heard it big. Holy crap. I heard woke. Woke. So one of you guys is woke. Woke as fuck. Just saying. That's that's great. Okay, so you're woke. Maybe you weren't woke in the past, but you sure as hell is now. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody, uh, make wonderful choices. Um, I appreciate all the love and support to the channel. The channel's growing, and I really, really appreciate all the love and support to the channel. It really, really helps. Single mom and two kids. So it truly, truly does help. Just saying. If you wouldn't mind sharing the videos on your social media and spreading word of mouth, I'd appreciate it. Love you guys so much, and namaste.